you have an open offering at, at the moment? I do. Yep, I do. That That's that property in Tallahassee. In fact, you know, we don't have tons. We did have three this year, but two is probably more along the lines of what we put out every year. But this one is our value add property, which is like, you know, what everyone wants to get into and actually is our first one we've had this year. And the reason it's so sparse and few between is we won't buy a property unless, you know, we're making our money on the buy. We absolutely are not buying for future appreciation or anything right. like that. We, so that's why the, it's so hard. We look at hundreds and hundreds of deals before one will pan out. Right. And, and why does why do they look to, to make it on that and not on the future appreciation, which a lot of syndicators get in hot water doing mm -hmm. buying off the future yeah. appreciation when right. markets shift? Because we always know they do. Yeah. Stephanie's investments will will largely remain unaffected. Right. Like that's that's why she does yeah. that. Yeah. And all of our like pro forma in our financial packages will show you that we are we're showing rent growth going up three percent. Uh, expenses going up two or three percent and that we know darn well is not what the market is actually doing so we always underwrite our deals extremely conservatively so that even if we have a flat market for a while which will probably happen it, it did in florida it happened when there was the crash there the mm -hmm. uh, rents flattened out for a few years so we want to be prepared for that right mm -hmm. yeah right absolutely